Good morning guys. Welcome to today's quarantine day in my life vlog. So I am just sitting in bed still. It's like 1130. Um, but I was doing some stuff on my laptop, like getting memory cards and stuff taken care of. Also, any of you that are OCD probably just had a heart attack when you saw my desktop. And I asked you guys on Instagram yesterday what kind of videos you want to see. And so many of you just said like quarantine day in my life vlogs. So here you go. So I actually said this on my Instagram story yesterday, but in case you guys don't follow me or didn't see it for whatever reason, I had actually stayed at my parents' house for about a month to quarantine and social distance because in case you don't know, I live with my grandma and she obviously does not want to get sick right now. I was at my parents' house for a really long time, but I just got to a point where like I needed to be back in my own space. I was really anxious to get back to like filming and making contents and stuff, which I could do while I was there, but it's just like not the same. So I'm so excited to be back here. So anyways, today is April 22nd. It's a Wednesday. Like I said, it's already like 1130. So I'm actually about to go downstairs and get some coffee. I made my at home cold brew. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that because Obviously, we're not going to coffee shops and Starbucks and whatnot the way that we used to. I know that pretty much every Starbucks around me is closed at this point. They don't even do like mobile order or drive through or anything anymore. So we have to fend for ourselves when it comes to caffeine intake. So I'm going to show you how I made my cold brew. And then in a little bit, I'm actually going to give myself a gel manicure and show you guys how to do that at home as well. So now that I've rambled for like three minutes... Hello everyone, welcome to today's vlog. I hope you're excited for it. So this is what the coffee looks like after it's been steeping overnight. And on the inside, I'll show you guys, but all the coffee grinds are in the middle part in a filter. So um, I'm basically just gonna throw those away right now and then I'll show you guys how I actually made it. So that's what I'm talking about. This middle part is just screwed into the lid. So that's where all the coffee grinds are. I tried cheesecloth, cheesecloth yeah. When I was in California, I tried doing this with cheesecloth and it was just super messy and no matter how hard I tried, there was still coffee grinds in the actual coffee and I haven't had that happen at all with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw away all of the grinds that are in here. Okay, so I just rinsed this off. Oh my gosh, you guys, so I am editing this right now, and as you could hear, the audio for this clip got totally messed up. I was covering the microphone, and I had no idea, but basically what I am saying is that you just fill up that middle part with coffee grinds, and it's really important to use coarse ground coffee beans, so I normally just buy a bag of whole beans at my grocery store, and then every grocery store around me has a coffee bean grinder, so I will set it to the coarse grind, or if you would prefer, you could totally go to your local coffee shop, and you could buy the the beans from them and ask them to grind them but you just fill that middle mesh part up with the coffee grinds and then obviously you put it back into the lid and then you put it into the pitcher full of just cold filtered water and you let it sit overnight and I like to just shake it occasionally to stir it so um yeah I cannot believe that I was covering the microphone for all of this but I still wanted you guys to know how to do it since like I said we're obviously not going to our coffee shops and everything so this is a really good at home option <laughs> Okay, so like I said, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do an at-home gel manicure today. And my nails have not been painted since the last time that I went to paint and got them done. So it has been quite a while, but I did actually vlog that trip. So I will link that video in case you guys have not watched it yet. But um, like I said, the nail salon that I go to is actually called Paint. And in case you guys didn't watch that vlog or you don't know what the company is, it's a 579 free formula only nail salon. It's like fume free and so much better for your nails. And one of the brands that they actually use at their salon is Madame Glam and Madame Glam reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of their gel kits for at home. I have done gel manicures at home for years now up until I started going to paint to get my nails done, but I've never done an at home gel manicure with these good ingredient nail polishes. So I figured this would be super fun and I might as well go ahead and show you guys how to do an at home gel manicure since obviously none of us are going to our salons right now. So there is the 
the base coat, the top coat, these two colors, and then this is actually a gel polish remover. So it just says that you paint a really thick coat onto your nails and let it sit, and then you're able to actually peel off your gel. So um, once my polish has run its course, I'll definitely be super excited to try that out. And then this is what the lamp actually looks like. I mean, it is teeny tiny, guys. Like, that's it in my hand. Okay, so I just got everything kind of laid out and set up. So I've already cut my nails. I always actually cut them down as short as they can get. I don't like having long nails at all. So now I'm just going to file them to make sure that um, the edges are nice and smooth. I don't really shape them. I just keep my natural nail shape and just smooth it out. Also, I'm really sorry that this angle is weird. I was trying to situate my tripod and this was just the best <laughs> that I could get. Okay, so once you get your nails cut and shaped the way that you want them to, you're actually gonna have to file the surface of your nail. This is just gonna help the nail polish actually stick to your nail um, because if you have too smooth of a surface, you'll get like peeling and um, it won't get as good of a contact with your nail. Now you don't wanna go crazy with this because you don't wanna damage your nail um, or make it too thin and fragile. You just kinda wanna rough it up a little bit like I said, so that the surface isn't super smooth. So that's what my thumb looks like after just buffing the surface of it. Now that that step is done, I'm actually going to rip off um, a little bit of this napkin that I'm using as a surface. And I'm going to use the rubbing alcohol to just wipe down the surface of all of my nails just to get rid of any of the debris from filing my nails, but also to make sure that there's absolutely no oil or lotion or anything on my nails um, just to make sure that they're as dehydrated as possible. Again, this is just going to help the um, nail polish stick to my nails and last so much longer. Yeah, I cannot stress how important it is to not use a cotton ball or a cotton pad for this step because you will just get so many little pieces of fuzz on your nail surface. So um, a lot of nail companies actually sell lint-free cloths that you can use, but I have found that paper napkins and paper towels work just as well. So obviously the first thing you wanna do is the base coat. And it's really important that you get the base coat correct because that's what the rest of, obviously the nail polish is gonna be sitting on top of. So you wanna be really diligent with it and you don't wanna get it on the skin around your nails because that's what's gonna let moisture get under the nail polish and make them peel faster. So I'll kinda do it up on here, I guess so you guys can see. So I don't lay the brush down where I want the polish to stop. I kind of put it up a little bit higher and then I push it down closer to my cuticle and then I drag it up. And then if you can, this step can be kind of tricky. I like to cap off the nail and do the tip of it just to prevent peeling. But since I keep my nails really short, that can be kind of tricky. Um, so if you do get anything, you definitely want to wipe it away before you cure them because once you put your nails under the light, you won't be able to wipe away any mistakes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the color. This one is called I Do. It's just a rosy pink sheer color. So I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing that I did with the base coat. So that's what the polish looks like after three coats. You could have stopped after two, but I wanted to see what it looked like if I made it a little bit more opaque. Um, so then I'm just gonna go in with the top coat. So again, I'm just gonna do the same exact thing that I've done so far. Now one thing that I do sometimes if I still get polish on the skin around my nails, even if I try wiping it off, is I will just go in with my nail file and file away the nail polish. You just obviously want to be careful because you don't want to mess up your manicure, but this works really well, especially since I keep my nails so short, sometimes I still get um, nail polish up here by the tips of my nails. 
Okay guys, so it has been a little bit since I last vlogged, so obviously I showed you guys how I painted my nails, um, and then my battery really needed to be charged, so I plugged it in and I've just been doing some work. I filmed my makeup routine yesterday and I really needed to just work on like computer maintenance kind of stuff with storage and my computer is just really messy, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, so I've just been kind of doing that stuff for a little bit, um, but I'm really excited to edit this video. Alex and I had actually been staying at my parents' house to like social distance and quarantine, so we really got in the habit of walking every single day. I really want to keep up with that even though we're not still living together at my mom's house, so... I think we're gonna meet at the park in a little bit and walk together and just kind of keep up with that since it's so good for our bodies. So I am getting ready to head out, but while it's still light out and before I leave, I wanted to give you guys a close up of my manicure because I know that angle earlier was not the best. So this is three coats of the shade I do and they have so many different colors on their website. I know I said this earlier when I was talking about the um, company Madam Glam, but it's actually one of the brands that my nail salon uses and in the past their polishes have lasted at least like four weeks on my nails without chipping. So I'm really excited to see how long it lasts since I did it at home, but definitely check them out. I know that they gave me a discount code, which is really sweet. This video is not sponsored by them. Um, I'm genuinely excited about this and everything, but they did still send me over a discount code. So for all of you guys that are trying to do your nails at home during this quarantine, definitely check them out. So I'm going to get my shoes on and everything. Like I said, it's pretty cold, so I'm probably gonna have to wear my winter coat when we walk. So I was getting ready to get my shoes on and everything, and my sister FaceTimed me and said that she has a very funny question to ask and that I should record it. So here goes nothing. Do you remember, I want to say I was in kindergarten, so you're in second grade. Okay. Whenever a random cop just showed up to our house. No. And he's like, 911's not a number just to randomly call. No. You don't remember that? No, guys, I thought this would be a lot more eventful. Oh, well, I was the one who called 911 twice and I hung up the phone because that was the only number I knew. Why were you calling 911? Because I never used the phone before. And then I, I knew 911 off the top of my head. So you just called 911? Hi everyone! So it has been a couple days since I last vlogged. Um, I was actually super productive this weekend. I don't think I've vlogged since Friday if I remember correctly and Saturday I filmed a video. Yesterday I did a lot of cleaning and I actually did an Instagram live which was so fun. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram definitely go ahead and make sure that you do so that you can take part in stuff like that. Um, I want to make Instagram lives more of a regular thing that I do with you guys. I just think it's really cool to like connect and actually sort of have a conversation with you guys that's not me filming something, editing it, and then uploading it a couple days later. It's more of like an instant conversation kind of thing. I don't know. You guys are probably just thinking that I'm crazy right now and don't make any sense. But regardless, it was super fun. So the next time I do one, I'm probably going to vlog while I do it. So you guys might have a chance to be featured in one of my videos, which would be super cool. But anyways, this vlog has been like so all over the place. I know it's just a couple little clips from different days and it's probably not the best. But you guys want quarantine vlogs, so... That's what you're getting. So I'm actually gonna finish this up now and then start a new one. Um, I'm gonna do some like deeper cleaning today. I wanna totally reorganize my dresser and probably do something with my closets. So if you guys are interested in um, like organization kind of videos, definitely keep an eye out for that one. But Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it, even though it was kind of sporadic. And I love you guys so much. So I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.